Hi everybody! Welcome to another video from my studio. Today I want to make myself a little art journal, sort of a four-dory planner, traveler's notebook, whatever you want to call it. Um, there is some forest. I'm going to go to Seattle and I'm going to be there for a while and I need something to work in. <laughs> so, um, I just um, grabbed my Craftex craft paper fabric. It's this kind of, it's a paper but it acts like fabric. I have it since a while, I'm not sure if it is still available. So, don't count on that. So, I'm going to color that with... Um, ink, acrylic ink. I want to use, uh, because this is uh, my newest design team pro project. Yes, I want to in another design team. Art foamies. I really like their stamps. They're very unusual and I think they really fit very well with the mixed media theme. Don't get me wrong, I do like the other stamps too for card making, that's all good. But sometimes with mixed media you like those kind of stamps and they really have a big variety on slightly different stamps so I want to play with those. I have already cut myself uh, from watercolor paper at 200 grams square meter. It's a medium size, it's not the really heavy one. I have cut like three signature to, of three folios so I can use that and I also want to use um, those plastic sleeves. I'm not sure how I'm gonna attach it yet, but I'll figure it out to store stuff in it while traveling. And I also want to make um, my own palette. <clears throat> Sorry, Krista Sobolewski lately had a video out where she did make her own watercolor palette from her watercolors, and I think that's what I need for my travel journal. So I'm gonna make me a little bit of room and then I will be back. So here we go. First I'm gonna wet it a little bit. Hopefully it's gonna be a little bit flatter. And I want the ink anyway diluted. Not so dark, that's what I wanted to say. Because I want to go over with acrylic paint with the stamps. So first I'm gonna go in with some warm reddish colors. That's why I wanted the, the gloves. I knew I want to spread the colors around. And I think more of this neon. Just, I feel like bright now.
So the paper is pretty much dry and it's laying flat which is nice. Uh, now to the art form is, um, as I said, I'm newly in their design team and um, I'm exploring them with you together. And um, I certainly want to use this one and they do have that what they call the stamping body. So you basically apply the, you can make multi multicolored stamps, which I think is cool. So let's see what I want. Maybe some, and I do use all kind of different brands of acrylic paint. Maybe some gold. Oops, yeah. And then some green. And I'm basically going to use the same stamp body for both of those. So let's see how it works. Just for safety reason, I'm gonna spray it a little bit, and I also gonna stamp it first on a, a notepad just to try it out. It's my first time I ever do it, so I already made a mess. <laughs> oh well, let's see how that works. And you sort of can bend those stamps, which I think is a nice feature. Now I have also this, um, that's again one from Balsa Design, this one is a Balsa Design too and this one is, um, no, this is the, this the feather is from, I guess art form is itself, it doesn't have a, a specific design.
but I think I first have to dry it a little bit before I can go over with the black. Now for the black I'm gonna try it slightly different now, just for curious about how it works. So I'm gonna use it more like a linocut stamp where I roll out the paint and then go over it. And I'm first gonna test it again on a paper just to be on the safe side. Let's see how it works. Okay, let's get a little bit more black here. Just give the ink, the ink, not the ink, the paint a little bit time to transfer and make sure that I give a good press everywhere. Hopefully that helps. Okay, let's see. Oh, I like that. Make art every chance you get the baby. Okay, fun, 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 fun. Okay. Now, I also want to add some white dots. Now I did, did use the leftover and just pressed in and I'm gonna add also some black marks. You want to have the elastic as tight as possible but not as tight that it starts bending your book or your cover. 